Hey guys, my name is Namiri and it's time for another Sim Saturday. I got a comment from Placebo Saw asking um, how we could put my silent tutorials into something like Viper. And I didn't own the synth, but I thought why not? I get my hands on it and now we're gonna make a lead with it today. So bear with me, this is the first time I'm actually using Viper for a full lead, but let's get started. Okay, so the uh, small things that I've done is just checking every parameter because I didn't want to do that in video. Um, for the rest, I haven't really made real leads with this yet. Uh, so let's just put this to in a preset and um, get working. I have my melody in here and um, yeah, we're going to make a sound with this. So first, we're going to start with top leads. Whatever synth you're going to try to copy this in, if it's not Viper, I always like to start with the uh, top lead uh, because that's just going to be the most uh, characteristic. Now I have a virus over here, but um, yeah, it's kind of like the virus, but it's not entirely. So I might know where to look for certain things, but I'm not sure. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put this on uh, one oscillator. And I noticed for the frequency modulation, you only have that on that second uh, oscillator. So we're just going to start with that second oscilla oscillator. We're just going to start with that second oscillator and um, put this to noise and, uh, and let's play this melody. And um, the benefit of just having these two oscillators is just as with uh, silent, I try to make my top leads out of one oscillator. So that's what we're gonna uh, try as much right now. And this frequency modulation just gives a little bit more movement and it's basically that uh, pitch, uh, noise pitch that we would do in silent on the uh, LFO. Um, yeah, let's just keep this as a sound and now see how we can maybe um, manipulate some filters to really make it screaming. Okay, let's pull up the resonance a little bit on this. And now I think we kind of need to distort this. So over right here, let's turn it on. And I have been going a little bit through these distortions uh, because you have some weird distortions over here like triangle fold and, and triangle fold if you just put it up all the way, it just makes it noise. So I wanted to know which um, distortions I could use and I found digital was quite nice actually. Just gives a little bit back of that high end that we have when we do the clip distortion. Um, and which else did I find? I think it was the hard and the soft bounce. But they add clicks and I'm not sure yet how to uh, fix that problem. So we're just going to stay with digital because then we have no clicks. So now we got this quite resonant lead already, but it's still a little bit too stable. Uh, and we're just gonna use an LFO, put it on the um, pitch of the um, oscillators, and this way we're gonna make it move some more. I think this sounds nice. 
Um, let's just add a little pitch envelope. And the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna use um, these filter mods. And we're gonna put this to the filter. And um, turn down the sustain. Go to the matrix and go into envelope three. Put that on both the uh, pitches from the oscillators. And now we're gonna turn this down a little bit. So let's say minus six, for example. And this way it's gonna pitch up with this little spike. And I think something we can do still is maybe add a little bit of um, filter saturation. And I noticed we don't have any uh, drive like in um, silent, I mean this one where we can literally put drive on the filter. So we're gonna try to get the same result with uh, some saturation. Yeah, just turn this off all, all the way and it will still sound nice. Uh, now let's just um, put an EQ on this. And sorry if these sounds are gonna be a tiny bit basic. Like I said, it's, gonna be, it's the first time that I'm working with uh, Viper as well. But we're gonna make a nice uh, lead with this. So now, after we've made that top lead, we're gonna make some support uh, hyperstall leads. And um, yeah, let's just get an init preset again, get to uh, multi-saw, pull up the voices on both oscillators and uh, really make a nice saw sound. But then we're gonna make it move with some LFO. So we're gonna to try to keep this a little bit with the um, less detuned side. We can also go with the um, more uh, detuned oscillator, but that just still sounds a little bit too off tune. I'm just gonna put it like this. And um, yeah, let's just make this move with the LFO. So maybe a sample and hold, put it on the oscillators. I like to put it up quite much and pull the rate all the way open so then we can really hear what it's doing. And then we're gonna tone this down again. Okay. Um now we're gonna maybe add some filter saturation again. Now opening it all the way sounds a little bit too dirty. So let's not do that. Um, let's see what this cutoff link does. I'm just gonna keep it like this. It makes it a little bit more um, dirty, but nothing too special. Um, then we have our LFO. Uh, we got our filters. Uh, let's just make it move again. Pull on the sustain like this. Put it to envelope and make the pitch spike up as well. We were at four, so let's try to stay around that four. Minus four at least.
And then the magic with the fires, as well as with uh, Viper, and I already saw it, was this uh, unison thing. So right now we have this hypersol. Sounds nice, but it doesn't sound too special. But then when you turn up the uh, voices and then start detuning and pen spreading it, it's just gonna make a huge sound. Now we're gonna put this in a mixer again and try to balance this with our uh, top lead. Uh, let's first uh, put an EQ on this. And let's balance this out. Now let's try to make another hyperfall layer, but this one's gonna be a little bit higher. I'm gonna first try to keep this uh, in the same octave as the top leads and just add one, um, one higher oscillator uh, with 12 semitones up, or I might uh, put this up an octave all the way so we would get that higher sound. I'm not sure yet because I don't know how Viper will act and how the sound will uh, yeah, develop in Viper. Let's try to make this one move again with some um, frequency modulated noise. I'm just curious how that's gonna make our hypersol move some more. So this one's quite clean. And now put this up 12 semitones and get the voice all the way open and let's detune this. Ah, oh, we can put the hypersol. Okay, didn't know that. Try the ring mod, see what that does. Mm. Nothing that we're looking for right now. Um, let's put on some saturation again. And let's make our filter envelope, do the correct movement, so we can put our uh, pitch envelope on here. And now we're gonna make this move, I think with a sign uh, envelope. And now let's get our um, voices to open up. Maybe try some more voices than four. This really gives a nice clean stereo um, to the sound. And that's just really, really, really nice. You can get this out of um, silent. It's really nice to work with a new plugin uh, again. Uh, let's just load up this. And I think actually when you put some time in this, you can um, really make this work and um, yeah, really get all the sounds that you need out of here. Uh, I want to try something with an extra LFO if we can. Um, 
Yeah, let's just do another pitch LFO. Put it to sample and hold because sometimes in silent I like to do uh, multiple LFOs as well. Okay, I really recommend doing this. This is making this uh, hypersol come to life a lot more. So we're probably gonna go back and do that with the other two as well. Or at least with the hypersols. Um, because this just sounds too nice, too friendly. Uh, let's just put this on our pitch. so much better and just makes it more interesting to listen to and I feel the uh, top lead can stand on its own like this Now this sounds nice, but I don't hear enough highs that make the uh, synth breathe. So I'm gonna try to put the uh, balance a little bit more to the higher uh, oscillator. And I just put down all the volumes and try to balance this again. I wanna make sure this is right. And now, um, just to test out fibers some more, we're gonna add one more um, top lead layer. And this top lead layer is gonna be square based. So we're gonna try something I haven't done before yet in Fiber. Um, let's get the melody in there. And, um, ah, here. We're going to do this in the second oscillator because then we can make use of that um, frequency amount. So wavetable, and then it was... Sine to square, I think. Yes. Okay, turns out we can just um, pull on the pulse width over here. I didn't even see that button yet. And now we're gonna get a band pass. Maybe make it follow. Maybe saturate it a little bit before distorting this. And maybe like this. Um, let's put that filter movement in there so we can put our pitch envelope on it.
Doesn't do too much. And let's make this move with uh, one or two LFOs. And let's try two first of all. It sounds nice. Let's just keep it like this. Um, do we have anything else to add? Maybe we can try adding some voices and make it a little bit stereo behind our uh, main top lead. Uh, yeah, let's just try this. Put it in the same bus and make it work with the other layers. Pop the volume. Now this is really sounding nice already. And adding that uh, different type of top lead just um, gives so much more space and body uh, to this uh, lead. And now to just change things up, I'm not gonna use OTT. Because maybe some of you don't have OTT, it's a free plugin, but maybe. And let's just uh, go in here and um, see where is it. Uh, this one. And it's got a uh, right balance in center. Uh, Hip Hop Puncher, I saw this once in a video from, in a video from Sense. And yeah, he just showed how he could balance the lead with uh, setter using this preset. See, it's not really increasing in volume, but it's so much more increasing in loudness. And that sounds nice. Um, so maybe introducing a little bit of noise, I'm not sure. Let's just EQ after uh, Saturn, so we're sure that we don't put too much highs in there. Now this is a strong sounding top lead and now I'm going to look for a way to make the pitch bend. So I found the uh, pitch bend and now we're going to make every um, top lead layer follow that same pitch bend. So we made this uh, pitch bend and it sounds like this. And over here it comes back up. Let's get working on our chords. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is work on some main hypersol chords because those are just the easiest. Um, yeah, so just get a feeling for Viper when working with chords. 
and um, yeah, then I probably will figure out what we'll do to get that uh, chord to have some more body. Okay, um, yeah, let's just cut a hypersol or a multisol in here. And maybe pitch this one up 12 uh, semitones. And let's not try to do something uh, special with this. Uh, we're just gonna uh, go in our envelope over here, get that pitch uh, down, and put it on our oscillators. So like this, and we're gonna get some LFO in here to uh, make it move a little bit. Maybe some saturation. And now we're gonna work with our unison to get some nice big chords. Yeah, like this. Um, let's put it in a mixer channel. And EQ this. I feel this is enough. Uh, and let's put it under here. Give it the same pitch band, of course, as well. Um, let's see, let's tweak the link to controller. Pitch band. And. Um, yeah, let's see how this sounds with the uh, chords on there. Okay, so all the bigger slides sound a little bit bad. So let's... This sounds a little bit better. So this sounds a little bit better. Um, get this back to 100. Okay, and let's get another uh, layer in here. And I think I'm gonna uh, keep these lower notes in here and maybe we're still gonna make one of the two oscillators uh, pitch up an octave. Um, yeah, let's just get working on this. And I feel we might actually uh, be nearing uh, the point where we say this lead is done. I'm just gonna try to get one weird um, oscillator in here, and just like we do sometimes with silent as well, we try using we try using a tri sol for some uh, chord layers as well to get a nice body. So that's what we're gonna do over here too, and um, yeah, not nothing too special on the D tune. We're just gonna try to make a nice warm body for our leads.
I've done something wrong. Oh, yeah. We done this in the wrong envelope. Make it move a little bit with an uh, LFO to finish it up. I feel this has some nice uh, body. Uh, let's just mix it in under the other chords and of course EQ it first. And now to really um, finish the sound design up, we might want to add another um, chord layer. Maybe that's gonna give some more body to the mids, so we're not gonna um, do too much special stuff with pitching the uh, oscillators. Um, maybe like this. Filter, pitching in here. Oops. Like that. Something like that. Uh, give it some more movement. And I think this is it for the layer. Just nothing too major, but it will give an impact on the body of the uh, chords. And uh, before we mix this down, we can of course um, add a sub as well. And yeah, to finish this up in Viper, we're gonna add a sub from Viper as well. And um, yeah. The way I like to make my uh, sub in silent is just combining a sign and a sol and um, low passing it. So I had a little problem with recording and I may ended up making a layer without recording it. So I'm just gonna quickly walk through this because it's a really easy uh, sign only layer. Um, so yeah, it's one sign uh, oscillator and we're only using one. And then we're going into the filter and uh, we're going to add some saturation on top of that sign. And that just really makes uh, the sign have a little bit more overtones and gives us some more body. So uh, we get this. And it just gives it more presence, more than just having that one, um, that fundamental frequency. And after that, I went into the uh, EQ and boosted the uh, fundamental frequency a little bit with some uh, gain on the low end. And then it sounded like this. So it's a really, really basic um, hypersaw of a really basic sub layer. And now what we, what we were gonna do was um, yeah, put down the uh, volumes one final time and then we should be good.
So we had a, this one was the uh, more neutral chord, so let's add this in first. And let's uh, put this in there as well. And let's get some more output on these neutral chords. And lift this up. And let's put all this in um, one mixer channel. Give it some extra highs. Without the sub, of course, because the sub doesn't need to be in our lead bus. I'm adding this passive EQ and this is just gonna give some more uh, eyes in there. And uh, we're gonna put some reverb on there. So um, yeah, just basically gonna do my two reverbs that I always do. Put those both in here. Make one spike up for the uh, spaces in between the notes. And one for in the back. And after adding the pitch band to all the um, vipers, this is our end result. Now I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something from this. And I hope to see you back soon again. Thank you for watching. Cheers.